Spend a penny to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. And our final money idiom for the month of November is to spend a penny. Now, this is one of those idioms I'm going to admit I had no idea what it actually meant and where it came from. Uh, it, it, it actually means to go to the bathroom, to go to the toilet. And the expression derived from uh, in the United Kingdom in the mid-1800s, they installed faucet toilets in the public and in public places. That's when they started doing it. And in order to get into the toilet, you needed to put a penny in. So you had to spend a penny to go to the bathroom. So if somebody says, I got to spend a penny, I guess I've never heard that here in the United States, but in the UK, I would imagine it probably still means I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a minute. Just like we say, excuse me, got it. And all the other different expressions we have for saying that we have to go to the bathroom. So <laughs> What does this have to do with growing and supersizing our business? Well, I guess going to the toilet reminds us that everybody needs a break sometimes and we need to do the things we need to do to take care of ourselves in order to grow and build and supersize our business. I'm gonna stretch it a little more like I do with all these idioms and I'm gonna say and share a couple of other things. Number one, uh, what, I thought, what I thought spend a penny meant was I thought it meant you have to invest in, you have to put something into something in order to get something out. You have to invest in the things that are important to you. Of course, that's not what it means. It means to go to the bathroom. And I don't know that investing in going to the bathroom is important to us or not, but growing and building and supersizing our business is. So what are, what are some of the ways that we spend a penny? And I remember growing up hearing a story from my mom and my aunts and my grandparents about my Aunt Robbie, my mom's youngest sister. And they were at they were, I don't remember what they were doing. They were somewhere at a, maybe a carnival, a local carnival or something. All the kids and, and their mom and dad. And grandpa said it was time to go and something about money. And Aunt Robbie said, well, what's money compared to fun, dad? Or what's money compared to fun, daddy? But what's money compared to fun? And they came sort of what she was known for. She was very athletic, very active, um, very involved in a lot of things. And it didn't matter what it cost financially it's what's the value of the experience you're getting out of it and it's a good thing to think about when we're growing and building and creating our business right what is the experience what is the value what is the real thing that people are getting out of their interaction their relationship with us and the business that we're growing think about that what is the money that they're spending <coughs> compared to <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> what is the money that they're investing or spending with our organization, your organization or mine, compared to the value and the impact that they're having in their life? And if that isn't weighted heavily in favor of the customer, chances are your business isn't going to grow, isn't going to supersize, maybe for a short period of time, but probably isn't going to thrive for a lengthy, long period of time. And if we're creating our legacy business, if we're creating something to make the world a better place, we probably want to make sure that, that that balance is in favor of the customer, that they are understanding that the value and the impact on their life that they're getting by being involved with us is far, far greater than the, amount, the measly amount of money that they're investing, right? It's worth 10 times or more, more to them than what they're paying for it. It's kind of become my rule of thumb since I came online and, and I will give Russell Brunson credit for this because he always says, make sure that you're providing 10 times the value of something than what you're charging people for that thing that you're pro providing. Now, online, it's, it's relatively easy to do that because you can have a huge transformational impact on people's lives um, through things that don't actually cost us a lot of money to create and produce, but have a huge value in the lives of the people that we touch because of technology and the internet. The, the cost of doing business has gone way down in the online world in many aspects. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're spending a penny or thinking about dealing with your customers. What's another way we can look at this besides what's money compared to fun? Thank you, Aunt Robbie. That I will forever remember her for that. And, and she's alive and well and living in Indiana. Shout out to her. Uh, so spend a penny instead of thinking of it as going to the bathroom. I like to think of it as what am I investing into my business? Am I investing in things that will grow 
and expand and make my business better, make the people in my business better, make the people that we interact with better, make our customers better. What we put into things is what we get out of them. We give what we want to receive. Are we giving, again, incredible value? I guess we keep circling back around to that. Oh, I hate that expression. Uh, we're coming back to that and saying, am I providing tremendous value? But we have to give value in order to receive the things that we want in exchange. Uh, also, to spend a penny, and with the meaning, the true meaning of spending a penny and going to the toilet, reminds me that there are some things that are just the cost of doing business, right? Expenses and things that we need to have in order to just run our daily day business, just like things we need to do to run our life. Maybe we have to spend a penny a few times a day in order to go to the bathroom, do the things we need to do to make our life and business work. And then uh, the other thing that this expression reminds me of, the final thing I guess off the top of my head is that what's normal or what the expectations are in one area, one part of the world, one industry are different than they are in others. And it's up to us to know what the normal is. And then if we want, we can stretch that and push that to make our business stand out or decide if it's something that we just need to go along with. Kind of like a cost of doing business. It's a cost of doing business if you've got a storefront that you need electricity. You need, nowadays with COVID, you need all kinds of different safety measures and things that are just now an added cost of doing business, right? Um, but what's normal? I have not traveled as extensively as my son has, but he's traveled a lot in, I don't know, like 35 countries or something around the world. He loves traveling. And I remember him telling me, and maybe I should have, figured out that spend a penny might mean something different than it than I thought it did based on that information but I didn't make that connection but he he said that in different countries he's been in he always would have change in different denominations like that's why I have all these foreign coins is because you had to pay to use the bathrooms like at the airport and things and I was like wow that's that's weird because in the United States I don't really know. Maybe they do have in some big cities or something public pay toilets, but I'm not aware of them. I guess I've never been to one. But uh, supposedly throughout different countries in Europe and Asia and uh, Nepal and things, you have to pay at the airports or pay for public restrooms. So I guess that is another way of thinking about, remember, what's normal for one place, what's culturally acceptable, what people do in one industry, one place is different than what they do in others. So I'd love to know... If like me, you had no idea what spend a penny means, or if it's just me and I'm, I lead a sheltered, naive life, which I know I do in many areas and aspects, uh, did you know what this meant? And then what does it mean to you to spend a penny to supersize and grow your business? Share that in the comments below. And we are switching gears starting tomorrow as we enter December, the final month of 2021. And I, I guess I'm not committing to what we're doing for idioms, but I guarantee we'll have an idiom tomorrow. All right. Any questions, comments, concerns, ask. Otherwise, spend a penny when you need to spend a penny. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.